we got uh, this chick pen and this is where I'll be putting the babies when they can come out but we got them lined with bricks we want to pick them bricks up because Bill <coughs> Bill wants to make a rocket stove and uh, he needs so many of them and I don't know if we got enough so he's going around counting them yeah, there's 31. There's 31? Well, good. There's RJ. Okay. I'm gonna take them out there and dump them out somewhere by the driveway. <clears throat> Clean them up. Some of them need to be cleaned. All right. I'm going to, for now, lock RJ and his girls in here. Bill's going to bring, bring in the wheelbarrow. And I'm gonna lock this right there. there. Yeah, and you come in too. So he's gonna bring the wheelbarrow in and get them. See the chicks have a nice long little run through there. Look at that, them chickens are mouse getters. Right there. You done a good job, girls. So, this is a chick pen. We're gonna have to fix it back up. And, uh, we're gonna put the wine dots out here. So, uh, Duck and his girls can raise them up while they're youngsters. They'll be in here for a while. And then they get old enough, I'll turn them out with uh, Duck's girls. Yeah, Duck, he, he, he likes to be a daddy. You're a good daddy. Uh, Duck really did like the guineas when they was babies. And they lived in here too. And then we turned them out. And uh, the, the guineas, they don't run off because they're raised with the chickens and they go with the chickens. Some people have, have them go way far away, but they don't. They stay with the chickens, being raised with chickens. Uh, they, they usually divide out there in the driveway, but they're always by the, the chickens. If they go in the yard, the guineas will go in the front yard too. So it makes a difference growing guineas up with chickens. But, but duck is a good daddy. So I'm going to put the wine dots out here so I'll have more chickens to go in the front yard and the driveway. That's what we're thinking. Looks like Bill's already done. Picked up the bricks. We found them bricks down by a the creek. They're used bricks so Bill will have to clean them up. But we've been making, wanting to make a rocket stove with them. And uh, so we'll have a more cooking outside. Oh, well, that looks heavy. Just a minute. All right, here. Yeah, get that dirt out of the way. Good boy. Hey! Oh my goodness. Are you happy? Did you just have an egg? Good girl. Good girl. So, what we're thinking, because this is a big area, uh, not more than what Pepper has, because RJ has this food forest. He's got this pen. He's got this pen. And then in the winter, they got... Uh, the garden. So we're thinking about putting the white ones over here. I got more of them. And because uh, we had the chickens work the gardens and uh, they really till this up, make it nice. So he needs a bigger flock. So that's what we're thinking. Put the white ones over here. What are you going to do when you got a bunch more, RJ? You just don't be a worry war. He worries about his girls. And he'll go get them up. Uh, let's go eat. He takes care of his girls. 
Yeah. Oh. He's a, our new rooster, and he does a wonderful job. Wor worries about the girls. He'll go get them. Tell them, come down here, and they go around and go over there and eat. Say, so, come on, wake up. It's time to eat. RJ, you're just doing a real good job. Barbara, be pat proud of you. Barbara, give me RJ. Barbara's my daughter. She says, you want RJ? Yeah. He's a good boy. Uh, we're really anxious to get that rocket stove going. Bill's going to work on our rocket stove today. Let's see if we can't get that going. See how it works. And level this a little bit better in the back. Yeah. We just gather... Uh, uh, a lot of people use brand new bricks. We had these old bricks we found in the creek. We brought them home. <clears throat> use them for something. So Bill says, let's just use them. And that should work all right. Yeah. So he's going to do that this morning. No. He found a grill that we could use for the fire. Putting the fire on it. So, Peanut wonders what in the world are you doing? So we're going to see how that works out. Too hot. I'm going to have to slow down when I'm doing this a little bit.
Once you give these little pots a boost, they really hurt fast over just a little bit of fire. But it, it's, it's hard to get them going, but what I found about it. And it's still going pretty good. It worked it good. You know, once you get it started, you need to slow down a little bit. I was feeding it too much. Well, that's another reason it was it was awful hot. Right there, that's perking it pretty good. About right. It's good and hot. Mm. I think it's going to work okay. Just use it once in a while. It did cook the coffee good. I just got to learn to regulate it on that fire. It gets a little bit too hot right there in the middle. But I was feeding it pretty heavy. Well, it'll, it'll boil water in about three to four minutes. On a little bit of water, I don't know what it'll be on a big one. I can't keep the pot completely over the fire. It gets a little bit hot. Hey, girls. Boys. I've been cutting this brush up. One for the rocket stove. And the long pieces for my fence. I'm working on right over there to block the wind. What are you girls doing? So, we always try to save our brush for something. And now we're going to have a lot of firewood for the rocket stove. And we're glad to have it. And thanks for watching from Mount West Homestead. I'll just work on this a little bit at a time. Bye.